He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Duva. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duva alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too mm, highly of This ragged shot. I don't want the competition. That was in the beginning of the game. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond. To establish trust. No, count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with him for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got Come a job. On, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now. What we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Fucking liar. Solovetsky. Let's save the world. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. 
Come on. You're still one of us. It's kind of cool that you can do this and have potentially multiple playthroughs. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Projecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No, that looks really good. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. Well, 70 bucks now. This game was 70. Coming up on your right. Belikov really came through in the Soviet armor. I'm tired you caught up, Woods. No way I'm missing this. Motherfuckers are gonna pay for right to Lazar. You'll get your chance. Solovetsky's two clicks out. All units, EMP in transit. Starfish inbound, 400 knots. When that baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air. EMP. I know that. Yeah, we're on Just our way. Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. Contact. 
Oh my god. This is, this is a bit safe. This is safe. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. My hand, Bell. Damn. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East. And with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. 
I'm kind of curious about what the other, what would have happened if I told him, lied to him. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Hmm. Interesting. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Are they gonna execute me? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. I had that feeling. So, I'm kind of curious what would have happened if, like I told him what the, the bad way was, what, uh, if I really wanted to do the side missions, what would have happened. But overall, it was good. Good game. Short, but Call of Duty campaigns are always short. Alright, so that's going to do it for this series. I appreciate you guys for hanging out. Uh, this was a good good story. I appreciated it a lot. They did a lot of undertones of the original Black Ops. You know, like, you know, mind control and everything like that. So it was cool. It was cool. Um, until then, I guess I will see you guys next time. Go ahead and do what every other YouTuber tells you to do so I don't have to. Until next time, I'll, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.